Am I faking my ticks? Hello, folks. Oh, we've got a really fun video ahead of us. We really do. But just to give you guys a little bit of an update about last week when I thought I was having a ding dong heart attack. And then I was fatigued after for days, visited some doctors, found out I have a vitamin D deficiency. I am now taking supplements. <coughs> and I also need to get my anxiety figured out. <laughs> but anyway, since I'm on vitamin D supplements now, um, let me introduce you to my new segment called Vitamin D Strong. First day, vitamin D strong. Oh my gosh, I should really do these at the beginning of the day, because if I'm being honest, they started off really well, and now I don't know if my legs are real. Day two of vitamin D strong. Setting up this table to uh, <coughs> work on outside um, really just wiped me out. And so did going to Target yesterday. I was literally sweating. <laughs> So supplements take a little while to work, but tonight I feel great. I feel great. I've also had a lot of caffeine. <sighs> um, anyway, me, what was that? <laughs> me and Megan have some fun uh, things planned tonight, so I'm excited. And then I've also got a fun <laughs> life to show you all. Let's live. <laughs> I'm excited for your raspberry bramble. Wait, do you like my drink that I made you? Stop! <laughs> <laughs> no! Is it good? No, it's good. Okay. <laughs> 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 Good morning, what's the damage? Oh boy. <laughs> Ooh, anyway, going vitamin D strong again this morning. Well, every morning from here on out, great supplement. I have some thoughts that I'm going to expand on later, but essentially I've been thinking recently about like the tick community's thoughts on, you know, do I tick too much or too little? And I recently <laughs> made like a reel about that on Instagram. I have some thoughts on like how my experience has been different <laughs> with like imposter syndrome or doubting yourself with ticks. And I want to get into that a little bit deeper, but for now, I'm about to go meet up with some old pals. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, just met up with my friends. Hey! <laughs> this is Sean. I'm Sean. Well, you were in previous vlogs, but like... I was, I was. Uh, you had like a, your little video recorder thing. I had like a f***ing camcorder. <laughs> so I am a counselor at Camp Twitch and Shout. <laughs> Which is wild. You know the influence I have on the You world. guys should all go to Camp Twitch and Shout. <laughs> Hell yeah. Go see Sean. <laughs> It's been a while. I've been on this before. I've been here before. Jack's actually like a original. He's an OG. Um, yeah, so is so is Sean actually. Um, so you can go scrape through the past six years and find something. Find something worth watching. I'm just saying we could go to Chili's. Yeah. Oh, sorry, child. I'm just saying. <laughs> sorry, child. No, I'm, I'm down with Chili's. Wow, I love hitting the Chili's on a Saturday um, afternoon. <laughs> oh my God! Yes. It keeps closing up in my eyes. I got Yorkshire tea. Okay. And this umbrella. That's mine. She has a really cool hat. Wait, is that from That was a thing. <laughs> mm, and we like cracked up on that one. We really did. And it, for no reason. It wasn't even that funny. <laughs> you, had to, you, you, you had to be there. Sorry, guys. You had to be there, actually. <laughs> We walked around so much. I had so much fun with my pals today. <laughs> but we walked around a lot and all the vitamin D in the world could not make me feel <laughs> not fatigued right now. <sighs> Top of the morning to you folks. <laughs> well, I ended the day off quite tired, but I still, I didn't sleep super well, but I am. What am I? What am I? I'm vitamin D strong. 
okay? If you've ever thought like, oh my God, I have multiple styles. Like there's two different types of aesthetics that I wanna wear today. Wear both. This is what I mean. Cause look, okay. We've got this look and then we've got this look. <laughs> Super fun, huh? Oh, I'm so funny. So earlier I briefly mentioned this subject of like ticking too much or too little and feeling imposter syndrome in a way about whether or not you're actually experiencing ticks. And I said I'd go into that a bit more. So let's do it. You folks can help me get ready for the super fun brunch plans we're about to go on. I think my experience is different than a lot of folks in the TS and tick disorder community that are currently like advocating online and that talk about this because I was diagnosed around five years years old. I've had more time to live and grow with my Tourette syndrome and my identity. That being said, it was a long and arduous journey. <laughs> it really was. And not to say that this is not experienced similarly, literally, what? Similarly by other folks in the community. But I do think that I have a kind of unique perspective that I don't see people talk about much online, which is the perspective of never having had imposter syndrome surrounding ticks. I think as the online community has been more and more built and I've been meeting new people online who also tick, I was like introduced to the idea of imposter syndrome. Like I had never felt it. And then I hear all of these wonderful, beautiful, amazing ticking pals of mine being like, am I faking my ticks? And I'm like, what do you mean? I like didn't, I literally didn't get it. And I think that's because I've experienced ticks for over 20 years and I got a diagnosis after a year at a very young age. So I'm hearing my pals being like, oh my God, am I faking it? And I'm like, what are you, what are you talking about? Of course you're not faking it. Like my friend, you were in your room alone ticking and you're being like, is this real? Real? What you're experiencing is real and you're very valid. And I think there's even so much more to talk about on this topic, but for now, we're having brunch. Water bottle girlies. Knock, knock. Whoa. This is Diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like, oh my God, I'm so ready to kayak. Like, it's my thing, like big yacker. I'm, 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 I've known to be the biggest yacker. In <laughs> I'm not gonna keep that in because I don't want people to know where you live. Oh, true. Um, if you go out to the reservoir, <laughs> you'll, you'll see me there. Yeah, the local one. Yeah. Hey, we're kayaking. Is that gunshots in the distance? Yeah. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, you saw a kid throwing rocks at ducks? Well, lake life. Ooh, kayaking was so much fun. But guess what was happening? Ooh, behind the scenes. I wish I had that TikTok sound while I was doing this. I was seeing stars. Body was getting fatigued. I felt chest pressure. All of that is still happening to me. So, <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to really quick just pop in about that topic I was talking about the other day. I haven't really ever felt like I was faking my trends. And I was talking about a lot of like the caveats and nuances to that. And another thing I wanted to add to that is that, you know, I was diagnosed in the early 2000s. I wasn't on social media when I was first diagnosed. Social media kind of barely existed. And I didn't have all of these like ableist people giving their input on whether or not my disability was real. I mean, when I started my YouTube around like the age of 13, people would fake claim my Tourette's, but like for a lot of the time that I was diagnosed before that, I never had to experience anything like that. And I do think that that messes a lot with people's brains is when like, you're just living life, posting on social media, and someone is like, what you're experiencing is fake. I'm sure that has a lot to do with people feeling like, oh, guess what? <laughs> what they're going through isn't real. But yeah, I think I just wanted to add that in. My arm hurts from holding this camera. Woo. Do you like it? Okay, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm I'm having a night of nostalgia. My mom and I went through some of my old things recently and I've just got all sorts of things that used to be mine that I guess are still mine, like so. Hey, this still stands. Yeah. 
Claire is probably circa. Oh my God, the dog does make noise when I'm when I'm not using it. You really, you really, I don't know how to make you not make sound because, oh, he's listening to me. How do you turn off? Hey, you can see me in there. Hi. Okay, what was I saying? He's still moving. You're not sleeping in here with me. I don't, I don't trust you, iPod dog. <laughs> oh! No, he heard my ticket. Wait, what? Stop. Am I in an episode of The Black Mirror? Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Whoa. We can't, you can't stay in here. Go to sleep. Turn off. Oh my God. Okay. What was that episode of Black Mirror? Yeah, I, I'm living it. Claire's, Claire's original, huh? Just kidding, the iPod dog did not kill me yet. <laughs> anyway, as we're coming to a close, I wanted to put in a note here that if you've ever experienced imposter syndrome surrounding your tics, just know that you're very valid. You are a valid person. You are valid in that <laughs> your tics are real and a lot of people are experiencing what you're experiencing. So yeah, thanks for watching. And next video is gonna be me in DC for Threat National Advocacy Day. So subscribe to stick around. Okay, thanks, switches. Bye.